Hello everyone, Jules here. After making the modern tactical JRPG list a while ago, I thought why not double down for the best tactical JRPG of all time as well. I mean, we gotta play some games before the next big titles coming out, right? And who knows, maybe some of you are actually missing lots of tactical JRPG masterpiece in the past. You might agree or disagree with my list, but that's okay, because at the end of the day, we all have our own opinion. Alright then, let's get started. Deathloop as a spiritual successor to the PS1's Hoshigami, Stella Deus embraces the traditional strategy RPG formula similar to the esteemed Final Fantasy tactics. The game has an interesting premise of its story. While the storytelling can be much better in my opinion, it still managed to make each of your battles feel meaningful and engaging. Obviously, Stella Deus gameplay shines as its crowning achievement. Unlike other strategy RPGs, characters start with a specific class and continue leveling up within that class. There are also various classes with unique skills to explore, adding more depth and variation to your character progression. Vandal Hearts 2 is a strategy RPG that often goes unnoticed, but for those willing to invest the time and effort, it reveals itself as a true gem. The game starts with a slow-paced prologue that sets the stage for an intriguing plot revolving around politics, religious extremism, and power-hungry individuals. The battle system is not the most innovative for sure, but it feels pretty polished, especially with the factors like elemental weaknesses, positioning, and character agility adding more complexity to the battles. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2 is a tactical RPG that offers a fresh take on the long-running Shin Megami Tensei series. Set in the modern day of Japan, the game follows the protagonists and their friends as they become embroiled in a demon invasion disaster. The battles in Devil Survivor 2 are both exciting and strategic. Elemental weaknesses and tactical positioning are vital in overcoming enemies. The fusion system also adds an additional layer of depth, allowing players to combine demons and skills to create powerful monsters. Phantom Brave offers a fresh and unique take on the strategy RPG genre. Visually, the game maintains the signature Nippon Ichi charm with its stylized 16-bit graphics and detailed character designs. While the lack of a grid map system may be initially off-putting, it does make the environments feel more natural and less cluttered. The battles themselves are definitely a highlight. Players can strategically summon characters to inhabit various objects, which granting unique abilities and transforming them into specialized classes. This feature opens up countless possibilities for varied and unique gameplay experience. That's it. Triangle Strategy presents a unique blend of old and modern game design. While the core gameplay and world design reminded you of Final Fantasy tactics, the game still managed to establish its own identity. Sure, the pacing can be super annoying at times, but I still find it enjoyable to get to know the story bit by bit without feeling the need to memorize every detail. What makes me love this game, however, is the fact that you have a variety of outcomes that can unfold depending on your decision throughout the game. Yggdra Union is a hidden gem in the strategy RPG genre. Originally released on the GBA and later remade for the PSP, now it's also available on PC. Despite its age, the game still holds up well and provides an incredibly enjoyable gameplay experience. The game features a unique tactical combat system that sets it apart from other strategy RPGs. The combat revolves around the Union mechanic, where groups of troops can form alliances and fight together. It offers a perfect pace, balanced difficulty, and unique combat encounters that keep the experience fresh and engaging throughout the game. Grow Lancer Generations is a fantastic collection of two RPG games, Grow Lancer 2 and Grow Lancer 3. The game offers a unique and engaging strategy-based combat system that sets it apart from any tactical RPGs, even in today's standard. Unlike your typical classic strategy RPG, the game features a non-grid-based combat system where turns are constantly moving forward and players must manage movement points, magic, and defensive strategies simultaneously in each battle. 
Both games also has a branching storylines and likable characters. The compilation provides a total of 60 to 100 hours of entertainment, making it a great addition to any RPG fans collection. Felsil Arbiter's Mark is a game that draws inspiration from the Final Fantasy tactics. The game offers a wide variety of classes, with 20 standard ones and some additional special classes. Each character has a unique job and abilities, allowing for diverse combinations of abilities and tactical approaches. While the story is pretty basic for the most part, but if you love a strategy RPG that has an amazing tactical depth, this game is a must-try. Shining Force 2 is a classic masterpiece that has stood the test of time. Originally released on Sega Genesis, now it's also available on almost any mainstream platforms. The game builds upon the foundation set by the original Shining Force and refines it to near perfection. The battles take place on a grid-based system and once again, careful strategy is crucial to success. The game offers various improvements over its predecessor, including enhanced graphics, better menu navigation, and deeper character progression. Front Mission First Remake is a solid title that provides an enjoyable experience for mecha enthusiasts and fans of tactical JRPGs. The combat mechanics is faithful to the original. While it may feel outdated compared to modern tactical RPGs, the game successfully showcases the mecha appeal that Front Mission is known for. The combat mechanics are relatively simple, but the depth comes from customizing each mech for different roles in your team. While the remake has some minor bugs and issues, it's still highly recommended for fans of tactical RPGs, especially if you're a fan of the original. Brigandine The Legend of Runersha serves as a soft sequel to the original game. While Runersha lacks the depth and polish of the first game, it still manages to stay true to what veteran players are familiar with. In this game, you will select a country and set out to conquer the continent by defending your castles and invading your neighbors. The combination of country selection, runikes, monsters, and strategy conquest makes it a unique and enjoyable title, capturing the essence of the original game while introducing new elements and challenges. Fire Emblem Engage is a solid tactical RPG that shifts its focus away from the relationship management of three houses. Instead, it places a strong emphasis on engaging tactical combat, almost feels like the classic Fire Emblem series. The game successfully celebrates the series' history by featuring characters from past Fire Emblem games without isolating players who may not be familiar with their stories. The visual presentation of Fire Emblem Engage is outstanding, with stunning anime-style graphics that bring the narrative and characters to life. Pokemon Conquest is a remarkable reimagining of the Pokemon universe. By blending the elements from Nobunaga's ambition, the game story becomes fresh and captivating. The inclusion of familiar Pokemon's creatures, the collecting aspect, and various Pokemon concepts add depth and richness for fans of the series. If you're a Pokemon fan, you really should try Pokemon Conquest, as it offers a fresh and different way to enjoy the Pokemon universe. Super Robot Wars 30 features a captivating and cohesive storyline that brings together various giant robots from anime series in an epic multiverse crossover. The game offers multiple outcomes and immense replay value due to the numerous side missions, additional story content, and rewards available. While the storyline can be complex at times, it provides numerous fan service moments for longtime fans of the series. The characters are well realized and true to their original counterparts, allowing players to play as their favorite pilots, each with their own unique personalities and backstories. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance is a captivating strategy RPG that will satisfy both longtime fans of the series and newcomers alike. Though the text heavy nature might not for everyone, those willing to embrace the tactical depth will find themselves rewarded with an unforgettable experience. The turn based combat system remains mostly unchanged, with players relying on character classes, weapon types, and tactical positioning to gain the upper hand in battles. 
The ability to teach characters over 40 unique moves and abilities adds more depth and customization to the gameplay, enhancing the role-playing experience and variation on tactical approaches. Front Mission 5 delivers a captivating tactical RPG experience. Developed for the PS2, this gem was released exclusively in Japan on 2005. However, dedicated fans have made English fan translations available, allowing players worldwide to enjoy this exceptional title. Building on the core gameplay mechanics of Front Mission 2 and incorporating elements from other entries in the series, Front Mission 5 offers arguably the best gameplay experience in the series. Not only that, the game also introduces some fresh gameplay mechanics. Notably, friendly fire becomes a factor, making positioning and line of sight extremely crucial in combat. John DR is a tactical strategy RPG that delivers a captivating fantasy spin on the legendary tale of Joan of Arc. Released on the PSP, this game stands as one of the finest tactical RPG experiences available on a handheld platform. The game provides a rich and diverse cast of characters, both human and mystical creatures like elves and beastmen. With 14 unique warriors, each with their own personalities and weapon preferences, players can form a well-balanced party to tackle various challenges. Fire Emblem, known as Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade in Japan, marked the series' introduction to the global audience. The story is divided into two parts, allowing new players to familiarize themselves with genre's basics while immersing them in the main narrative. Fire Emblem masterfully paces its gameplay, ensuring a smooth learning curve for newcomers while challenging the hardcore players at the same time. With over 30 unit classes to choose from, each with unique abilities and attributes, finding the right combination and deploying effective strategies becomes a highly rewarding experience. Valkyria Chronicles 4, delivering a fresh and engaging experience that reminds players why the series was so beloved in the first place. The narrative is driven by a cast of lovable characters, each with distinct personalities and motivations, making the storytelling both heartfelt and entertaining. The gameplay combines third-person shooter elements with strategy gameplay. Players utilize command points to control units and engage in turn-based battles on the battlefields. Valkyria Chronicles 4 also introduces a wealth of customization options, allowing players to tailor their team's abilities and loadouts to suit various situations. Okay. Disgaea 5 continues the tradition of blending unconventional storytelling with strategy gameplay. Developed by Nippon Ichi Software, this installment offers a vast adventure while retaining the series' signature Xenicast and offbeat stories set in the netherworld. The game provides a substantial campaign with a diverse cast of characters to recruit and utilize in battles. In terms of gameplay, this of 5 excels in offering rich turn-based strategy with plenty of options for character progression and team building. The game also introduces new classes and abilities, providing players with endless possibilities to create powerful units and tackle challenging stages. <laughs> Tactics Ogre Reborn is a remarkable remaster of the classic tactical RPG. The game's tactical gameplay involves isometric battles on grid-based battlefields, where players control various units to fight against enemies. Tactics Ogre Reborn also features deep customization options, allowing players to tailor their team's abilities and loadouts for different situations. The level system applies to entire classes rather than individual characters, encouraging the use of a full team of diverse units. Although some changes have been divisive such as the randomly appearing buff and debuff cards, but overall the quality of life upgrades improve the overall gameplay experience. He will always find a way. Symphony of War, the Nephilim saga, stands out as one of the best tactical RPG titles in the genre. The game successfully captures the essence of Fire Emblem on PC, providing an enjoyable tactical experience with customizable squad-based units. Each squad comprising multiple soldiers, classes, traits, stats, and artifacts, and each of them gives a significant value to the battles. This system allowing you to create diverse groups with various roles on the battlefield, which elevate the tactical combat experience even higher.
Fire Emblem Three Houses is an exceptional strategy RPG that lives up to the hype and sets a new standard for the series. The story is compelling and the characters are well written and memorable. In addition to the branching storyline depending on your chosen house, the game also added relationship simulation elements. If you're a fan of Persona series, you are definitely going to love this new feature. And just like its predecessors, Three Houses features familiar turn-based mechanics, but with some additional changes, such as larger maps and hero units fighting in battalions, creating a sense of all-out war. Troubleshooter Abandoned Children stands out as an exceptional tactical RPG that shares some similarities to XCOM. One of the game's strengths lies in its diverse and well-developed characters, with nine recruitable characters each possessing distinct personalities, skills, and playstyles. The mastery system is another notable feature of the game. This highly flexible system allows players to customize their characters according to their preferences. Additionally, the crafting system plays a significant role in the game, offering extensive options for character customization. Final Fantasy Tactics remains one of the best turn-based strategy RPGs of all time. Political intrigue, betrayal, and class warfare entwine in the captivating narrative, presenting players with a rich and complex story. The core gameplay is pretty simple. You will navigate Ivalice with up to 24 playable characters and engage in plot-specific or random battles. Despite the simple objective, the game offers a diverse job system with lots of class variations. This system completely opens up lots of possibilities on how to develop your characters, providing endless of build variations and party compositions. Alright boys, I think that's it for today. I know that there are still other great tactical GRPGs that I haven't mentioned yet, so how about sharing your best tactical GRPGs that probably deserve the spot in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss another great list. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Peace!